hi and welcome back to my channel today i'm creating another art journal spread i have already a texture on my background which i've made with some texture paste and a stencil from stencil girl and here i'm going in with my watercolors i did that texture at the day before i did this page because it needs a time to dry I add a lot of water to the watercolors and wanted to let them flow over the page. I'm adding in the next color and I be very careful just to use colors on this wet and wet page that will mix well together. So I go with a pinkish red color that will mix a nice purple and I will add this to the right side and I will use a yellow on the left and this will mix green with the blue. This is something you have to be a bit careful about when you work a wet and wet with a watercolors. Um, if you want to pick complementary colors directly on the page, I recommend letting one layer dry before you go in with the complementary color. I added in even more color and let it drip down the page to make it look more intense. When the watercolors are completely dry, I come back in with my stencil again and I'm using heavy white gesso or also white acrylic paint will work and I highlight the stencil image. As always, I have linked up a blog post where you can see close-up images of the finished page. I'm also adding some white splatters to give the page more vibrancy. And I also decided I need some yellow splatters on the page. While my splatters are drying, I am preparing my main images. And here I have stamped my loose florals to Bristol paper and I color them in with watercolors. The reason why I'm using Bristol is that the watercolors on Bristol paper look so amazing intense and I really love the texture you get with watercolor on Bristol paper and it's also a super quick way to color in because I just let the colors flow into each other. I don't uh, go for many details.
I have cut out all the flowers and I left a small white border around each element to make it pop up from the background. And here I have already arranged them to my page. I always do this before I glue them down so I have an idea where I want to put what and also a good idea is to make a photo of it and then you have it much easier to glue it down. I always try to go with odd numbers, especially with the main images and here I decided to pick five flowers. Um, it looks better when everything is a bit unbalanced. So, And now I'm using just wet glue to stick every piece down. To finish up the whole page I'm adding a sentiment and I have used my mixed sentiment stamps for that and they are stamped onto some orangey paper and that matches perfectly the colors on the page. I outlined the words with a black fine liner to make them pop up from the background. And that's my page for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we will see us next time. Bye!